Okay, um, hey guys, I hope you are doing great. I'm just really excited for today's video. So I was here, what, maybe like a month and a half ago at this very spot and I wanted to drive my radar controlled car on water and, and yeah, that could have gone a lot better. But I'm back at it now and that video just blew up, just not in matter of views, but the engagement. I mean, there were so many helpful comments of how I could redesign the tire to better my chances of driving on water. Very similarly, very similarly to last time, the wheel and tire consists of two parts and uh, the wheel made from just the normal hard PLA plastic, uh, but the tire has been severely modified with increased size of the tire itself but also the length of each paddle uh, and I printed this using 5% infill so it's mostly air and that was probably the highest rated comments from you guys uh, that it couldn't just be a hard shell like it was before it has to have air inside of it for buoyancy in order to drive on water so no the sun is going away the new tires also results in a lot higher ground clearance I can't imagine that being a bad thing I went back and forth so many times discussing with a lot of different people of how I should design these and once I was happy with the look of it in the CAD software I used my Trister bot 3D printer and it did an amazing job with the flexible filament I used something called Fiberflex 40D it's more of a tough flexible filament the black PLA wheel was a bit easier I mainly focused on getting the hub in the center and eventually I think you got a pretty nice look to it some other upgrades I did was going from a 3 cell to a 4 cell battery so that means that we went from using a 12 volt to a 16 volt battery and that equals to a lot higher power output and that was very much debated in the comment section uh, that RPMs is the key to success here so you have to keep those wheels spinning and upping the voltage should help with that yeah you might have noticed we have a different RC car this time that's because the Bison RC car can't handle the four cell batteries it uses uh, plastic for the main spur gear and that just immediately strips out while the JLB Shida here uses metal gears this car is heavier like significantly heavier so that kind of worries me uh, but I did save a lot of weight by removing the stock tires because they are really heavy so hopefully that won't be too much of an issue is there anything else I need to cover? No, that's it. Wow, let's do this. Don't get ahead of yourself, Simon. Okay, now we gotta make sure it's the tires, not just the new car, the more powerful battery. So I'm gonna take the paddle wheels off and put on these stock tires. It's the tires that came with the car and hopefully this time we won't be able to drive on water. So that test is coming up right now. Okay, let's do it. That just doesn't work. 
I am all out of battery and the sun is about to go down but I just wanted to come on here and say a couple of final words about this project that I'm very thankful for everyone who left a comment on my previous video you gave me a lot of guidance of how I should redesign the tires and I couldn't have done it without you guys so a special thank you for everyone who left a comment I do very much appreciate it and a thank you for everyone who watches this video till this point achievement accomplished have an awesome day bye